If you want to be happy in life, then never compare yourself with anyone in your life. If you do so, you will be the saddest person in the world. There is a story of an unhappy crow. I hope this story is gonna change your life. So there was a crow lived in the forest and was absolutely satisfied with his life. He found himself most beautiful and always cherished his beauty. But one day, while he was in search of food, he saw a white swan. He was amazed seeing the bright white swan and he thought, The swan is so white and I am so black. The swan must be the happiest bird in the world. And he started feeling sad and unhappy because he is black. He said to himself, I was a fool who thought I am beautiful. He went near the swan to talk to him. The crow expressed his thoughts to the swan and praised his beauty. Wow, look at you. You're so beautiful. What a beautiful color that God has gave you. White, the symbol of peace. You must be the happy in your life. To his surprise, the swan said to the crow, I was also feeling that it was the happiest bird around until I saw a parrot one day that has two beautiful colors, red and green, and that looks so beautiful and I'm only white in color. People like to have parrots as a pet and parrots can also to talk so I now think the parrot is the happiest bird in the world. The crow then went to see a parrot. He searched for a parrot for a long time and finally he found one. He liked the parrot a lot and thought, Swan was right. Parrot is the most beautiful bird I have ever seen. He said to parrot, Wow, look at you. You are so beautiful. What a color. What a lip. Just amazing. People love to have pet like you. They give you a name. How happy you are in life. How amazing your life is, Parrot said. Who said you am happy so you're not? Parrot said, not at all. I was happy until I saw a peacock. Look at my color. It's green. It's same as the jungle, the leaf color. See, you have been searching me for a long time, but you couldn't find me because of my color. I have only two colors, but the peacock has multiple colors. I think peacock is the happiest bird in the world. The crow then visited the peacock in the zoo and saw that hundreds of people had gathered to see him. After the people left, the crow approached the peacock and said, Wow! Look at you. How beautiful you are. What an amazing feathers. When you open your feathers, people take pictures of you. Every day, thousands of people come to see you. And when people see me, they immediately show me away. How amazing your life is. I think you're the happiest bird on the planet. And finally, Peacock said, Who said I'm happy? So you're not? The crow said. Peacock said, Not at all. I always thought that it was the most beautiful and happy bird on the planet. But because of my beauty, I'm entrapped in the zoo. I have examined the zoo carefully. We are always in danger. The hunters kill the peacocks. Every feather will be extracted one by one from his body and sold to all over the world and to the market. And people will buy it and they will use it to decorate their house. Is it really a life? So you're not? Not at all, said the peacock. Then who is the happiest bird in the world? The crow asked. The peacock said to the crow, You, you're the happiest bird in the world. The crow said, How am I? How can I be the happiest? animal in the world. The peacock said to the crow, Did you see anyone to sell a crow's meat? No, the crow said. Did you see anyone to sell a crow's feather? No, the crow said. Do you have any danger? No. Do anyone hurt you? No. Do you have trouble with anyone? No. Does anyone have trouble with you? No. Then who is living the great life? Me or you? Who is the happiest bird in the world? It's you, dear. It's you. Because we have no idea are we gonna wake up in the next morning or not. And I have realized that the crow is the only bird not kept in a cage. So for the past few days, I have been thinking that if I were a crow, I could have roam everywhere. That's a problem too. We make unnecessary comparison with others and become sad. We don't value what God has given us. This all leads to the vicious cycle of unhappiness. Learn to be happy in what you have. Instead of looking at what you don't have, there will always be someone who will have more or less than you have. A person who is satisfied with what he or she has is the happiest person in the world. So no matter who you are, where you are from, never compare yourself with anyone in the world.